So fun fact, I tried to film this in the morning time and then I ran out of time and I was only halfway through and the hi highlighters exploded basically. They exploded on me so I ran out of I ran out of time and I had to go to work. So this is five hours later. And I had clip more. So. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a collection video and this is going to be on my holographic, iridescent and kind of duochrome collection. Some of them I have talked about in another collection video, so I will just run through them rather quickly because I have already talked about them. I will have the other episodes linked down below or the playlist at least. I have a lot of W7 here. I have gotten them for free, so they are kind of PR. Kind of, because I was a W7 ambassador, that's that. So that's why I have so many. Yeah, two of these products myself, and that is a kind of a pigment glitter thing. Um, so otherwise, I don't normally buy this kind of stuff. That's not the point. The point is that I have it, and I want to show you my collection, basically. So I guess there are tons of highlighters, there are some lip products some eye stuff and I think we are going to start out with the lip stuff that I have already talked about from another video. The products I'm going to show you have some different colors to them. So pink, purple, green, blue, really really beautiful. The first product is a W7 lip gloss. It is called the Lip Tripper Holographic Lip Gloss. I do have this in my roulette pan collab, so if you follow along my product pads, you would have seen this before. This is a beautiful lip gloss. You wouldn't think it would be comfortable, but it is. Well, now I build it up, but you really don't have to build it up. If you see some glitter, that is from this morning when I tried to film this video once. So. That is the shade right there. So you can see it is a sheer lip gloss, but it has a pink shift. And the shift is the glitter parts, but you can't fool them, of course. This is the first item, and I really, really like this gloss if I want something extra. And I'm not a lip gloss person, but I can wear this without it feeling uncomfortable because it's not sticky. The next lip product, which is also a lip gloss, it is a lip topper from W7. And it is called iridescent. So it is the iridescent lip gloss. This is not as pigmented as the other one I just showed you because this is a topper. It also has this light pink tint or reflect to it. So it is that right there. It is more white. You can see it is sheer and then the light hits it and it becomes beautiful. Then we have these four and, and they are called the Loud Pout Odd Lip Topper Glosses. These are the ones, different colors. So there's a pink, a green, a blue and a purple. When I see them through the light, they are different colors than they actually are. And these have the same formula as the Iridescent lip gloss. I wouldn't say they are really sticky, but they are more sticky than the first two. As you can see, they are swatched here, these four shades. They are really, really beautiful on the lips. I'm not gravitating towards these because they are thicker in the consistency. Those were the lip products. And then let's take some eyeshadow sticks. And I want to talk about these that I have. These are called the Holo... W7 Hologram 3D Eyeshadow Sticks in these four colors. There's a pink, blue, green and an orange. And I do have the pink on in my inner corner. I don't know if you can see the pink base that it has, but it's there. So these comes in this kind of format as a pencil and then and then you twist them up and this is everything that is in it. This is the most full one because I haven't used the green that much. Um, the pink is the one that is mostly used because I have it in a project and I am working on the tip. So let me swatch them and I will be right back. So it is the four shades right there. You can see the base shade of the sticks. It is a creamy consistency, but they don't layer that well on top of other shadows. So I really like them for the inner corner. 
Um, so that is how I'm going to use them. Right there you can see them. They're really beautiful. And the pink I have on, it doesn't... The sheen is not pink, but the base is. So that is kind of how they work. They have another shift to them than the base shade. Then I have a cream highlighter. It is the W7 Glow Fix Holographic Strobe Stick. And it is like a normal cream highlighter. This is a little bit more sheer than a standard highlighting stick. But it has this beautiful blue-ish reflect to it. It can be a little bit patchy on the skin. Because this is a blue tint, it's not going to match every single look. More the cool tones looks. But I think it is a beautiful highlighter. It seems like a normal tinted highlighter, but it's actually blue. So that is a little bit scary if I'm going to pan this at some point. I don't know if I'm I'm really going to pan any of these. I do have a few in a project, but yeah, I don't know. They scare me a little bit. For a highlighting palette, or oh, this is also an eyeshadow palette actually, but I count it as highlighters because I have 10,000 eyeshadows. It is the W7 Prismatic 3D highlighting palette for eyes and face. And yes, this is a dupe for the Kat Von D one. So these are the shadows or shades. So a blue, a lavender, greenish, yellow and a pink. And these pans are smaller than the Kat Von D one. So I think that is nice because you are never going to go through. So it is these four right here. I think they're beautiful. I don't own any other pressed colorful highlighters. I have four loose ones that I'm going to show you in a minute. So I don't mind these being smaller. So if I eventually want to get through them, they won't take as long. In this whole palette, there is only three grams, 3.2 actually. There aren't that much product in it, so it will be easy to go through if I really focus on it. It just scares me a little bit because they are colored highlighters. <laughs> Another pressed highlighter that I have, it is the W7 Prism. A 3D highlighting powder. It is a pink highlighter so it has this beautiful pink shift to it and it's really really beautiful on the skin actually and it's really creamy and I have used and swatched it so much so the W7 logo in the middle is rubbing off. <laughs> Put it right here. So you can see it's not really blinding but it has a beautiful shift to it so these are definitely more pigmented than this, so this is more natural and it has a more natural finish to it. Let's take the four loose highlighters that exploded on me earlier today. The four highlighters I'm going to talk about is these ones. They are the W7 Light It Up and Glow All Night Dual Chrome Loose Powder Highlighters. In the other clip in the morning I said it is good packaging. It's really not because it gets all over. You can kind of see my cloth here. When I opened them, it, they exploded. So, so I have a blue, a peachy, and a pink, and a yellow highlighter. But I think they exploded because I stored them uh, on the sides. So from now on, I'm going to store them laying flat. So I guess that is why they exploded on me. These are the colors. So blue, pink, orange, peachy and the yellow. So blue, pink, peachy and yellow. They are not that reflective like the top ones. But I think they are really beautiful. These are heavy swatches so of course when you use a highlighting brush like this you don't use as much and it like fades it out and stuff like that. I think the prettiest one is the peachy one because it has a gold kind of uh, shift sheen to it. Hopefully you can see it. <laughs> I don't know how else I'm going to uh, show it. I'm not going to swatch these but I have four glitters from W7 that I have gotten and these are some samples. I don't believe they sell these and if they do they will be on the W7 website. I got these in an advent calendar and one of them 
as a sample in a small kit. So the first one is a silver chunky glitter with a lot of different colors as you can see. It's really really beautiful. And they don't have names, the one that got in I got in an oven calendar. So this is the silver one. And then I got a pink one with the same kind of glitters to it. And then an iridescent one, so a white base. And then I got this in a set, it is called Hol Ho Holy Holo. Holy, Holy Holo? I don't know. But this is a silver glitter. So these are the four glitters. Again, I'm not going to swatch that because that is more messy than the glitter I have on my hands right now. The last two are pigments from Blush Tribe and I'm tr I think I'm going to swatch these. Hopefully it won't go that bad. But it is the Titanium Dust. And they're extremely beautiful. And I have the one in Cave of Wonders, which is this gold pigment with a pink shift. And then I have Genie. Yeah, it says loose pigments. And this is like an orangey red with a green shift to it. So I will try to swatch these. And I'm going to do it on top of my cloth so that they don't go everywhere. Hopefully you can see here. If you have a lot of experience with glitters, please let me know how to use them properly so I get the most or the best effect out of them. Uh, on top of my mind, I would put them on top of a glitter glue. So let me know what brush or something you use with them. This is beautiful. I can stare at it all day. That was Genie and then we have Cave of Wonders. And this is definitely more full, so there is more in this. And this is not as... Chunky. This looks kind of boring. Beautiful gold shade. I love this one. Look at it. Ah, oh, so beautiful. I have been here for 24 minutes. Okay, perfect. So this is all of my holographic highlighters and eyeshadows and pigments. I'm excited. I have a ton to play with and I'm really excited that I don't have to buy any of this kind. I definitely don't need lip gloss and I definitely don't need colorful highlighters. And luckily that is not what I gravitate towards when I want to buy stuff. I gravitate towards these kind of stuff when I buy, not this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on the next collection video and please let me know what you want to see because now I'm kind of running out of ideas about what part of my collection I want to show and if you guys want to see it, <laughs> I hope you guys want to. This is really really fun to do to kind of shop my stash and at the same time showing more fun parts of it and not just all of my bronzers. So let me know what you want to see from me next and until my next video, please take care.